Ineos Benji, one, two, three on GC. Was it as dominant as it looks their week at Catalonia? Because I think it exactly was. I think they barely put a foot wrong. Yeah, I don't think they can do much more than, than they did here. I think the only mistakes they made was really getting that 46 <laughs> breakaway out there and having to chase that the entire day. Oh, but then again, it's a bit of a gamble. You know, you can't you can't really see that coming that after 12-man group, that is going to be a 46-man group. But in the end, we knew that Yates was one of the favorites here. We said at the um, time trial that GC was a lock for him. And it was all about filling up the rest of the top three spots with other Ineos riders. And they, they turned around on the mountain stage and did exactly that. Benji, Adam Yates, his first World Tour level stage race GC win in Europe, UAE Tour last year was his first World Tour level GC win. I think they have to take him to the Tour de France. I just, I don't see a world in which you only send Adam Yates to the Vuelta and take Gagan Hart to the Vuelta. You got the question mark over his TT. You say, okay, shit at UAE, absolutely banging TT here in Catalonia. Was was he getting more used to the equipment? First stage, first stage at UAE, first time on new equipment, but then the course suited him a bit more here at uh, Catalonia. That being said, Gagenhart's TT isn't exactly like Pete Thomas. Like you can trust Thomas. I think his TT. It's kind of more likely than not go back to where it has been. And then in terms of pure climbing ability, it's got to be Yates. It's the consistency that's the issue, but then he's coming from bike exchange to the best, most professional, richest team in the world. At Ineos, his train can be Carapaz, Dennis, Castroviejo, and Port. What percentage chance do you think he's going to the Tour now, Benji? I think it's an 85% chance. I think that it's pretty... um pretty on point that he should go i think to look at how his career has gone so far i think we can highlight the fact that in 2016 he tried as leader at the tour de france he ended up getting fourth it's the only grand tour he ever rode a good gc in all the rest was pretty much falling through the the classification in the final two-ish weeks in 2019 arguably his best season before 2021 he uh, started off with a fifth position at Ruta del Sol, then moved to Tirreno Adriatico, where he got second. That was uh, after Primoz Roglic, the man who basically demolished all the races that year. He went to Catalonia, also got second, Adam Yates. Then he went to Itzulia, he got fifth there. And then he went to the Tour de France and he fell through the classification towards the end. So it's clear that, to me, it seems, the issue is not necessarily the climbing and stuff. He can do well against the top riders, I think the main struggle or the danger, the vulnerability for Adam Yates is the recovery into the second and third week. And the fact that we've only seen him achieve this once, which was that 2016 Tour de France. And if they can bolster that and if they can film that and bring that into a good aspect and somehow get him to ride on this level for an entire Tour de France, then he can compete for a, a top five or even a third spot on the podium. I don't think it's going to be easy to beat the likes of a Pogacar or a Roglic, but so far, the season up till now, he's the only rider on Ineos that has shown any possibility of doing so. Yep, and I think Thomas, really, really encouraging performance here. He's climbing yes. way better than I expected. It's actually his TT that I'm like bit weird that tt <laughs> result but then he's coming second and third he's climbing like he did in 2018 so that's more encouraging because the watts must be there and that's got to convert back to the tt at some point and i think yates yates carapaz port thomas is the perfect they complement each other perfectly uh against pagasha and roglich and i just the tour sort of climbs they have, I just think Yates is more of a threat than Gagan Hart. Maybe they take Gagan Hart too, but that's my view that it would be insane to me to not take the guy who was pressuring Pogaccia on a record time of her feet a month ago 
coming second on GC in the UAE when he lost. The only time he lost was in the TT on his first TT with the new equipment. And then the guy who just absolutely flattened Catalonia and didn't, he looked so dominant at Catalonia. Great TT, climbing record on stage three. I just, you can't leave that guy out of the tour team, in my view.